high physical damage, and anytime you have a slaughter in the in the game or on your team, you, you kind of do have already a lot of physical damage. So it, it, it's a little bit scary for him to play, but he has the back of the Oracle. A little bit of brawling back and forth here. Miracle trying to actually secure this kill on the Vampire with the second jump in. The Cog's too late to save him. So much blood. They don't seem to be aware of this on the side of Gambit. There it is, XOL. Fine. He's just gonna melt. Yeah, I think depending on Tower a little bit in the mid, but not really an ideal trade for him. LSA will connect as we comes in, but there's no opportunity to kill. Lorenoff, in fact, hasn't even leveled in the Laguna yet. While that's happening, Bloodseeker will fall in the top lane, but the rip of the fight's still going on. We will be able to back away those. Gambit, you're already listing them there when you've got the silence to deal with on the ground as well as the DP1, the other Prince of Haze. Just maybe BKB the simpler way. That's feel like there's going to be a lot of pressure on Lorenov as well to have enough behind him. And with the Chrono there, they'll have the damage to bring down GA. So they are going to try and take this tower, but Miracle is here. Exo has been activated. Enigma are going in straight on the Lorenov. We'll force him away. Melez running for the high heels, but they're hot pursuit here. Bloodright to try and cover him, but they've already lost Lina. They're going to lose the Bloodseeker as well. And now they might actually end up losing more. On the side, Vampire is going to be chased down, found out. So sure you get that kill on the GH, but for that big investment, it's going to cost on GH. Let's see if in. Lover of Meles. Nice move across from GH to dodge out the damage. Hookshot in from Vampire is going to be good, though. And let's say we'll zone away from Miracle. Miracle looking to re-engage, though. Cogs have been put down. What we're going to be turned around onto. He can't even get the kill on the GH in time. He's just going to feed one over. The egg is going to be used to dodge out the blood right. Miracle were able to do the same. Doesn't even need to move and worry about that rupture. They have repelled the forces of Gamba. And the hunt. We. Nice talents. We'll stop Lina from stunning him. He needs to get out of there. Laguna's gonna get him low. He gets killed by the Dragon Slave. Now, now that was that was very confident coming out from We. But luckily Miracle's doing a turn it around. Lorinov's gonna be picked off. Oracle didn't have a chance to save with the false promise. Beautiful use of the smoke screen coming out from Miracle. Will force Ayn to use his ultimate on himself. But now the Soulbind will stop the clockwork from re-engaging. Instead, it's gonna be Miracle going and he's trying to hunt this kill down. Bloodright's gonna be there. Miracle needs to dodge out, is able to escape. Inkswell means they do not want to pursue. Has got the Chrono again, jump in. There it is, Chrono out to Miracle. Low enough that he should be able to easily clean up this kill. In fact, Ayn is sure to yoink it away from his own carry. And they'll hunt in looking for Kuro, but the TPs are coming in. Nigba say, whoa, 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 wait. This is very early game. We're ready to fight again. You want to go? I mean, uh, yeah, you want to you wanna bring numbers. In. There goes. Uh, Inkswell, the amount of stuns that are going to be here, avoiding a bit of trouble. Burns through, getting him low. It's going to get him low enough, though. He should be able to move away the time. What rupture is going to come out? We has used the Exo, but he's stuck standing here now, unable to move. They'll at least get the clockwork kill. But not the big one they were looking for. They need more value out of this Exo. Bloodright's going to get him low. He's gone for the second time. Gambit. We is just the gift that keeps on giving right now. Yeah, if Fusal Blade gets it, uh, completed by Miracle, it's in about uh, 400 gold. Jump in. Found him. Inkswell's going to stun him up. Silence on to Kasani. No way to escape that gank. Wow. Is it? Is it going to last only a, a small amount of time? Or... Is it starting to feel like it might end up being indefinite? Because Jesus, Vampire, half his health instantly gone. He'll jump on a different target instead. Straight forward on to Lorinov, trying to get rid of Yules. He's going to come out. Inkswell's going to miss. Hookshot trying to save False Promise out. Rupture on the Miracle does jump away and loses half his HP pool. And the Chrono goes down. They're trying to heal him up the Sunray. The damage to Kasani might be enough for the Laguna. Yes, it is. And the Bash is coming out. GH can he even get the egg off. He's going to dive back, hit the egg button, and ensure that Gambit cannot keep pursuing We. Thinking about going in, has got the XO to play with. He was going to be there, actually missed time with the stun from the egg. But Melee's pulled down to half HP, silenced down to four heroes. Sunny still hunt forward on the Kuro, trying to bring him down. No Soulbind for 10 seconds, but it's going to be too late. He's dead. GH also to fall. And they hunt and find more is the real question. Lorinov going to be turned around upon here. Has to use the Yules instead of the LSA. The jump in from Mind Control cleans him up. Now Melee's more or less being ignored. Looks like Wii's going to be forced to fight here. Kasani staying on top of him. Mind Control here to reinforce. Will force Kasani away. On the back line, it looks like Ayn has made his escape. So Jump in, Soulbind. Board on the Lorinov. Gonna burst down. You also buy a little bit of time, but that smoke screen is still down. He'll die. He's gone. Rupture was thrown out, which should allow them to retreat. But, I mean, Nygma, they're not retreating. They're going back to the pit. Finish what they started. Yeah, and that's the... That's the thing when you, in that fight, now the, the, the second fight here, you don't have the false promise. It's not ready yet. You can't save the Lina. He gets caught like this, and, and all of a sudden, you know, if you have the false promise there, I, I think it, it could be a similar story. Sure, you don't have your chrono, but 
it's still quite good for you, but now it's just gonna be a, a dead Lina and a, a dead Roche with the Aegis on Miracle and Vampire. Stop in! Vampire not able to get it. It's a nice attempt. Will cost him his life, but yeah, in the grand scheme of things, it's worth the risk. It looks a little bit out of place, even you know, even before the game begins. It's 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 sort of odd when you look at the lanes. They found him. Bloodseek is done. No way he's gonna get away from this. Nice done by Wee to catch him mid TP with that yields. They're hunting for for more as well. They found Ayn. He's just been for again with that false promise. I mean, you have to question if he would have been better off just dying. He might still die. The miracle jump is going to be there. Long range with the final stab. He finishes off what he starts. And then, what? Bamp? Oh my. Gambit. I mean, it's going to be a tough one for Kasani to carry with. You know, he's got a crap ton of gold, sure, but you have to get there first. Clockwork is not getting any more gold. He's given more over. Mind control with the easy pick off. So I just thought, looking for more. One more jump further. Now, they have got the catapult. They've got a level 2 Exo, but I don't think they need it to try and pressure onto this tower. Except Ricky, pressure on the heroes, jump in. Melez, down to half HP. Miracle's going to keep backstabbing into him. Mind control chasing in. Miracle needs to get out now, though. Yules is going to be there. He's got the Aegis still, so not the biggest deal, as long as they don't stun him when he comes back up. But they turn the blood right correctly. Stun control, mind control, insurance faces void. He can't do anything. He can't get the Chrono out. Well, he actually just has to retreat. Which means they cannot punish Nygma for that. The Exo was used on the side. They will at least find G8. My control almost Boy, had him there. He could turn here, though. I yep. think, think he's stuck. Sure he, turn around. He, he got blocked in by the Manta Illusion. My control has nowhere to run. He needs some assistance. I don't know if he's going to get the hookshot comes out of GH. The Chrono goes down. Only the Illusion. No! Kasani! What? Pogwark's going to die. They might lose more. They didn't kill my control. They never finished him off. He's going to come back here. Melez has to run away. Yules is going to be there. Disrupt his escape. He is going to be covered. False promise going to be forced out. Miracle going even deeper. They're going to leash two together. Lauren off needs to move in sync with his Oracle. Diffuse is going to come out to him. Miracle looking for a target here. Going to get help with the blood right. Able to move away from the moment. The Mantis is not good enough. He's going to fall. Mind control with the reinitiation in on Delina. Can they do enough damage with the Exo? Is the real question here. They're getting Oracle low. Ayn is gone. Kisani able to sidestep and move away in the meantime. Nigma probably should have lost a lot more than what they did for what happened there. For Set up a chrono that actually would sort of salvage the or not not just salvage but but you know make the fight very good for them but Sani cut me up a bit short there. Yeah they at least get this little side. Like, nah. Oh, yeah. He's got the eye. Mind control can do what he wants now. You don't want to touch it. Miracle is coming as well. Melis has hung around too long. The fuel's gonna go out. x gonna be there. And that's gonna trap in the chrono though, it's gonna be there. False promise keeps Bloodseeker alive. Look at shot up Miracle. Be pro low. They're trying to save him the double use, but it's not good enough. They've lost the Ricky. But mind control. He can turn around on the face point. Now the bash control is gonna come out. Is it good enough? He gets out just in time. Kaysani able to escape. The egg on the high ground. Shoot the Turk Amber. They don't have vision, so Lorinov has to run and hide. Vampire is far away from his team, however. There is nowhere for this clockwork to hide. Oh my, and again, despite how it looks, despite how the start of that fight looks, Nygma once again building a big goal lead off the back of that fight. Now up to 9,000 net worth lead. Oracle. Okay, this man isn't a fish, he's a shark. The Bash is coming out, I'll control him, he's gonna go straight for the kill on the iron. The Oracle is being brought low, the Bash is working out for him, the stun control turn around and avoid will force him away. Vampire has got the hook shot, they could look to re-engage Kuro. Hook shot's a whiff though, they miss it. He gets up onto the high ground, able to move away. Spider leg saved the day. Now the reinitiation on the melee. His control looks good. He doesn't want to be in melee form here, though. We'll be able to get away. Cog will zone Nick, but they're just relentless. They're like, no, fight, 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 fight. More blood. Okay, like, like a I'm blink. You also, he's ready to also just jump into these fights. They're going to get the Aegis now on Miracle. Maybe cheese on Mind Control. He's going to be incredibly difficult to deal with uh, with the Ags. Uh, you can chrono him, but uh, you might not even have enough damage to kill him. Uh, that, that's the concern, right? Like he hasn't died once in this game. Your one chance was top, and I don't think if you, I don't know sure if you could get another chance. Vampire, look at the hook shot out, but Miracle sees all. <laughs> Would have been a miracle if he could have got out. It'd be a miracle if Lorenov can get out because Mind Control is hunting. He's got the crush, and he'll get it there in time. Lorenov is screwed. Nice blink size that Mind Control just outplaying him. Gets Miracle the double kill. <laughs> Canva, I mean, they're having to make sessions everywhere, anywhere. So we might feel tempted to go in though, because he wants some value out of it. Good luck in through mind control. Enigma are not really in a hurry to 
to force things here. They're, they're maybe just gonna take the tier three here, go back with the end of the EXO. Wait, wait, wait. Initiation by Miracle on the side. Nullifier out the clockwork. Not enough damage to kill him off, though. Cokes to push him away. You also control him up. LSA. Ooh, time beautifully. Try for the man to dodge. They're going to bring down the first life. They have got a Chrono for the second, but the Mask of Madness means that he can't escape. The Chrono has to go down now. False promise to save him. Egg on the side, though. Yules to control him up. Maybe they get through him in time. Miracle, he's alive. He gets out as a miracle itself. As they turn around, they bring Lauren off down. Kasani is forced to retreat, leaving Clockwork behind. They're in the base, and now that they have actually found a footing, you can guarantee Nigma are very unlikely to leave. Yeah, I feel like in this scenario, this is where I think at least the, the BKB would have just proven so much more useful but for this Void here. We My want control to run away. also just, uh, he's just he's committing to the me. status resistance at this point. <laughs> he's got the Titan Slayer, he's got the S and Y, he's got the, you know, the, the Axe. Oh, so. I'm hot. I mean, that's like, stun me. Stun me, please. My, my friend. My friend, stun. I just want to, I just want to paint a clown face on him. Right now, you can just imagine him saying, hit me. He wants you to hit him. Because you do absolutely no damage. I just feel bad for Vampire in that situation. Imagine being the final pick of the game. Imagine having all these high hopes. And then imagine having three kills, 15 deaths, and five assists to your name. It's with a certain hero. Are they gonna, they're, they're gonna try for this. I mean, what am I talking about? Mind control, try for anything he sees. Like, how do you kill him? Try. I dare you. There is literally no way. No possible way. That Splashy McDub is gonna fall. Soulbind comes up, hook shot in, Chrono's gonna be there. Mind control, can they get through him? Maybe they're bringing him low enough. Shotgun to get him down with the Laguna, they get him! Dead for 75! They'll find the kill line, the buybacks will come out both sides as they're trying to get involved quickly here. We stand his ground, we'll force Kasani away. Bellina's gonna fall, Lorenov dead on the back line. Egg down, trying to get through it in time, they will be able to scramble it. But can you turn around now? The stun control is gonna come in, mind control has re arrived into the fight, looking for vengeance on a Kasani, they'll find it. They bring him down. Miller is going to be forced away. The GG is going to come out. That was Gambit's last Gambit, and they knew it. I mean, they got through uh, Splashy Mc... Uh, what? Splashy McDurk? Splashy, Splashy McDurk. <laughs> yeah, they, they managed to, to finally get through him, you know, all that Roy HP. Uh...